let me show you how America is preparing for the great war which he has already lost it's just a matter of time now do you see what's happening to your country I'm talking now to the citizens of America oh let me get to it now look at that name which one will survive the war of Armageddon in 1972 in this very place the Honorable Elijah Muhammad went into that word let's look at it the first three letters arm arm not this your arm is your strength but it represents arms and armies Armageddon armies he said gathered together for the doom Armageddon now all the armies of the earth now are getting ready put up on this board the American installations around Russia around China and in the Middle East in Iraq where oil reserves equal 30 trillion dollars America is not there because Saddam Hussein was a dictator America has supported dictators in Central America South America Africa and all other parts of the world America doesn't give a damn about who is a dictator as long as they bow down to the will of the foreign policy objectives of the United States of America all these places marked in red is where she has bases Canada Greenland see here this is Colombia uh, Quito in um, the capital of uh, Peru all of these countries he has bases we just put a base in Colombia because it's right next door to Venezuela and they want to be able to attack Venezuela but look here you missed it because this is a old map but right here Haiti there's a base now in Haiti they have discovered oil in Haiti that's more than the oil in Venezuela so 20,000 US troops are now in Haiti and they're not there to rebuild Haiti you will never be able to say that Farrakhan didn't tell you the truth I'm wiping your blood from my hands today and if I never speak to you again I've said what needs to be said now look here this is Arabia they got bases in the Emirates this is Yemen they just got a base there this is Oman Turkey of course this is Europe see now this is Eastern Europe this used to belong to the Soviet Union now America is placing strategic missiles in Poland I think in the Czech Republic aimed here anything that jumps off in the Middle East America has bases in Iraq to attack Iran 
She has bases in Arabia, in Qatar, in Oman, in Yemen to attack. Now she's down here. Somalia, Eritrea, and Djibouti. She just put a base in Djibouti so that anything that happens in this area which is becoming more Islamic Muslims are ready to come back to their religion and live it now America under Barack Obama is bombing in Pakistan all up in this region and you go up into the Caucasus mountains this is where lots of oil is here that's why Afghanistan was so important to America they wanted to bring a pipeline from north of Afghanistan through Afghanistan out to the Arabian Sea now here is Afghanistan, here is Pakistan, but above Afghanistan, in Turkmenistan, in Kyrgyzstan, all of these places, there's oil and gas. America ain't thinking about tyranny, oppression, misuse of women. Those of you who were here last week, you saw the pictures, I don't want to show them again. Unless you think this is a pornography class, but here's Iran, here's Iraq. They got all these bases here. Now they want to attack Iran. Let me say to America, General Petraeus has said, we have the plans to bomb Iran. They also have set up plans in case they have to go to war with China or Russia. Now it's all in your Bible. If you know how to read, wake up the mighty men of war. This is now Joel tell them to turn their plowshares and their pruning hooks into weapons of war because the time of war has come war the great war has begun it says in the scriptures when Jerusalem is surrounded by armies the end has come now forsake your houses and run there in Demona where the enemy has nuclear power that he produced in Demona that's where the African Hebrew Israelites are and they're the best thing can you imagine in Israel they have gay parades in the Holy Land and you think about that Do you think the God of heaven is pleased with that that's why a new Jerusalem is to come down from heaven put up the second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh fleets. It's wartime. That's why I decided to wear red today. I'm just letting you know no easy time coming. You're going to have to prepare to save your lives. Now here's the second fleet guarding 
the eastern coast. The third fleet guarding the western coast. The fifth fleet there, I think this is the Indian Ocean. And this fleet is designed to protect here. The sixth fleet is positioned in Europe, but it can move into any area here that's in trouble. And the seventh fleet is in the Pacific for China and Japan. These are nuclear ships. I heard the Honorable Elijah Muhammad say that Allah was going to destroy the sixth and the seventh fleet. I didn't ask him how. I just know what he said. War is here now. And if they attack Iran, I'm saying this to our government. You are being blinded by your passion and the fear in Israel that if Iran develops nuclear weapons, Iran would be absolutely crazy if she had a weapon to attack Israel. Israel is the most well-armed nation in all that area of the world. Israel has more weapons of mass destruction that could defeat that whole area. You can't win another war. You can't win in Iraq. You can't win in Afghanistan. You can't win in Pakistan. I don't care where you go. Your day of winning for evil is over. Hey, y'all, I need y'all to subscribe and smash that like button.